I got the juice, juice, juice. Ha. Still got the juice. Just seen the love. We here with Ash. What up, girl? No. Queens in the building. Yes, Queens all the way. QT. Let me not say it wrong. <laughs> Queens get the money. <laughs> Baby, you came in today and you, so wait a minute, you do a little bit of it all. Yes. You do ghostwriting. Yep. You are writing for yourself. Yep. And one thing that I want to talk about motivational speaking. Yes. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> let's, let's go from the jump. Everybody knows I like to bring it back. Writing from, the thir from 13 years old. Yeah. Let's start there. Yeah, um, I just used to be in my room and just like, I fell in love with the craft, like seeing everything, you know, back in the days when it was 106 and Park Time. Yeah, oh, uh, oh, MC Good dreams. Time, the all, of, all of those. I just was so into the craft, and I just was like, I could do that. And then I started trying, I started testing the waters, and I never told nobody, though. Nobody knew. My family, friends, nobody really knew. It was just random, like, and very random. I can see that, too, because <laughs> you give me that, you could be shy. But at the same time, you ate it. You ate it up on the mic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, man. I always get that. They like, hold on, one. what? It was so random. When I went to school one day, like in, in, when I was 13, after I tested it out a little bit, and it was only the boys was rapping in the class. So I'm like, I can rap. Like, they like <laughs> girls, but they, they they like girls can't rap. Like they they fly. I'm like, what? I started rapping. They was like. Everybody like one. In sure. class, like, what? <laughs> was, like I, I, then from then on, I started. Um, I tested up. I tested out a little bit of poetry just to make my lyrics a little strong. My, my, my sentences a little stronger, a little deeper. And I went from there. I was quiet. I was just practicing for days, low key. <laughs> so now we're in 2023. From then, right to mm -hmm. now. What has changed and what are we doing differently now? A whole lot. Um, musically, uh, I start. I, I, I formulated my. I started formulating my song. First of all, I'm, I'm ghostwriter now, so it's like I'm formulating my songs into from stories to metaphors to a little pop to. And let's just say that ghostwriting. Sorry to cut you off, but let's just say that ghostwriting to me is such an art because you got to put. You gotta make music that could fit to anybody, right? Yeah. You gotta make music that's gonna fit to somebody that a life that you're not living, or they have to fit to your sound and what your lyrics and what. So that's that's an art. Yeah, it's very. Uh, sometimes I when I when I do ghostwriting, like if it's a kid, I have to tap into the kid's mind, like 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 see what the kids like and what they're into. And then kind of still be myself while I'm writing in their mindset. Like, so it's a lot of studying when you write. Uh, a lot of, for me, when I started doing it, I had I studied the artists. Like, I studied them, and I have I, I have to throw myself in there at the same time. But I also studied them, so it won't be just them being another person that they're not. So it's like it's like a little touch of wow. Like, yeah, wow. And so, where did you get into motivational speaking? Well. That goes, I, I mean, I kind of always was like a person that a lot of my friends call for advice or I always knew how to, even if it's a random person just venting, I always knew what to say to them that, that was positive to get them to think positive mm -hmm. and don't always be down. But I was in a real bad accident too and that put me deeper into motivational speaking, like way deeper because anything can happen in life and that you have no control over us and you always got to stay positive because if you don't, you'll go crazy and... You could be right next to a blessing while you're in the middle of feeling like everything is over and depressed, fighting depression and not knowing you could be right next to that door that could just open for you if you just stay positive and just keep going and don't let go. And that accident, that was on some life-threatening, that was something that you thought you wasn't going to come back from. Yeah, yeah. I want to show you a picture uh, in my fall. I, I would love to show you a picture of it, but... Um, it was very, very bad. I had four skull fractures, respiratory failure, swelling of the brain, like. Oh my God. You can see I got the trait here. Wow. I wrote a song for that, Sky Walking With My Arms Out. I made it off that payment, only memories need scars now. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, I was in a coma um, for like a week. Um, what else? Herniated this. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could, I mean, from just the fractured skulls to the wow, 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 wow. Yeah. And w what does that feel like to have a second shot at life? God, like, all I could say is God, you know what I'm saying? Like, all I could say is like, that's the only, the only thing I could say, you know what I'm saying? Like, because the way my brain was swelling, they thought I was gonna die or, or... I'm gonna show you a picture. Get the picture, let's get the picture real quick. Like, I really wanna show you a picture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show all y'all a picture. Um, yeah, I was in a coma. It was, the, the swelling of the brain is like, that's in itself. That's... Yeah, look at this, it's, it's super crazy. Look at that. I'm gonna show everybody this picture. My goodness. It was on the nose and all that. that. Look at that. Crazy. I'm here. Wow. Queens is in the building. <laughs> Our queen and queen is in yes. the building. God bless you. With the swelling of the brain. Like, they thought I was going to have seizures. I never experienced a seizure in my life. And thank God, even after that, I didn't. I'm still here able to follow my dream and still able to write songs and write for other people. I even got better after that accident. Like, I'm better now, I'm way better. And please ask, tell us what's a piece of your motivation? What mentality do you keep yourself in? Which I'm sure the set, that same mentality got you through that. Yeah. Yo, I, I thought to myself, like one day I was just having a conversation like, if God keeps got you here still and you waking up and you able to move around, you hit you got a purpose here. Like you still got a purpose to become something and put your all into it and don't give up. Don't don't let your age be a be a blockage for you. Feel like you're too old, feel like it's too late. Um timing, um don't think yeah, don't think it's too late. Like keep going. Don't stop. Like for real, for real. Wow. Oh my God. What a blessing. <laughs> So you hear you drop what you dropped today because this is something she's only dropped here. Yeah, ain't nobody hear that. <laughs> yeah, talk to us about it. Talk to us about it. Um, well, you know, like I'm from Queens, so I did a uh, shout out to Nikki. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kills bad, broke back the uh oh. Yeah, which so I love. I was inspired by the first of all. I've been thinking of samples for the longest to touch that I haven't heard already. And that was one I did think about before. And I'm like, yo, sis did it. <laughs> so it was the perfect one. Like you inspired me, Nikki, for that. And um, I just wanted to, it's, it got a bop to it. It's a, it's a, it's a dance beat. It's fun. <laughs> you know, we're on the same page as yes. So, and I wanted to touch, put, put my balls in there. It's just nothing but balls in the whole song. So yeah, I'll see you all right now. Yes. What's the name of that? Drop that. It's called Spice Girl. It's featuring T-Sexy. She's a, she's a female rapper from the Bronx. She's dope. And it's one of them. So, yo, we, New York, we gotta like, we got our own like Spice Girls. Yes. Like, man, like I love the city girls, they're fire. And every state I feel like has their own version of Spice Girls. <laughs> So I feel like New York is so full of Spice Girls. Yeah. So I got anybody touching the mic right now, it's a really, really good time. Females are in, and when I say in, we're not even saying female rappers anymore. No, we rappers. Right. Right? That's it. They're There's not no messing Title to that. They're not messing We don't have to say female rapper. There's no, we don't have to say that. Rappers. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun writing that. I'm like, yo, Spice Girls. Yo, you know how much the world, like, we remember when Spice Girls, the movie came out? Just everything, who they were, how they checked, everything, all of that. What the, the different, what was it? The different personalities they tapped into, right? Yes. And still formed that group. And yes. I feel like that was like the motivation of it. Yeah, that was so popping. Yes. So Spice Girls is out on all platforms. I Am Ash Music featuring T-Sexy. Ooh, get that. When you hear still got the juice, what comes to mind? Bars and, 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 and fire, just being fire. It don't even have to be bars. It could just be a dope fire artist, like. Right? So that's that's what I got in mind as soon as I heard it. Like, you still it, like, the it factor. 
Well, Ash, you're going to have to hit me up and let me know who you go trying to force. I don't know. Gotta give me your flowers, too. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we're super excited for you. Super excited for what's to come. Thank you. Ash in the building. Queens in the building. We already know how queens get it. You know what I'm saying? The money. Yo, still got the juice. We out of here, baby. <laughs>